at 9, we get to Lincoln, and we're going to check in in the front area. We can also park the bus um, next to the common, so during the lunch hour, we'll be able to, like, you can see it, and the kids can see it, and we can do interviews, like, by the bus. I thought it would be kind of cool, you know? Yeah. Um, and we're going to check in and get guest passes, because we all have to have guest passes. My mom sent me the room numbers for all the rooms we're going to. The first 40-minute um, period uh, is with the eighth grade resources. So we're going to split up, uh, the eighth graders are getting split up into four groups. Um, so that means we all have to split up into four groups and run our own 40 minute time period chunk of time with these kids. If you guys have suggestions or want to do something a little different, we can all talk about that now to make them all really good. Um, we thought we'd do an issues activity, kind of like, um, have all the kids like give them all sheets of paper and they all get to do like a little mini what do we think is our issue in our community or our school and so then they'll be able to write it out and then we'll have kids like um, be able to answer the question like what is your issue and then go around and have like participants raise their hand. seventh and eighth graders, pretty much the entire middle school, about what they can do to get involved in their community, having them identify the issues that they want to see changed and things that their community needs attention with. Um, how many of you have heard about of AmeriCorps before today? Many of you heard of AmeriCorps before? All right, well, it's a good thing that we made our stop here. So we're going to go around and introduce to you what we do, because our jobs are very different. We all serve our communities, and we all go out there. We all work for AmeriCorps. Yeah, I actually have done service trips all across the U.S. Um, in an alternative breaks program. So I've been to um, West Virginia, and I did work there. I did work in San Juan, Texas. In the Florida Everglades, I did environmental work. Um, and in South Dakota, I worked on a Native American reservation. And um, I've also been to South America, and I've done service stuff down there. So service can be a lifelong opportunity for you guys, and you can be doing it throughout your life. And you get awesome experiences. You can go places and do things and meet new people and explore new cultures and different worlds beyond you know, the community in which you live. I'm really excited that I am on AmeriCorps this year because this has been great for me to even be on this trip. How many of you have volunteered? Please stand up if you have. Wonderful. Stand up if you've ever worked in your community through a school. When you, after you volunteer, what do you get out of volunteering? What do you feel like after you've done work? A sense of pride. A sense of pride, very well. Stand up if you think you have a voice in changing your community. <laughs> if you honestly think that you have a voice in changing your community. One person. No one else thinks they can. No? Our group said that if they had $1,000, they would give money to the Boys and Girls Club. I would give it to homeless people because there are too many that are homeless in our nation. These are sixth graders. I would give money for clean water in Africa. That's a good one. Um, I loved going to Lincoln Middle School. That was awesome. And they really responded well. That was my favorite part. They responded really well to AmeriCorps and service and volunteering, they all really, I felt, got some messages out of it. And I think in you know the future, hopefully they'll remember that somehow and be like, oh, AmeriCorps is a cool option, maybe they'll do that. AmeriCorps is a really great program. I cannot wait till I enter it. I think that it'd be lots of fun and we get to travel and stuff like that. I love traveling and helping out with people and stuff like that. I really would enjoy being in many of the different areas and stuff like that of the AmeriCorps. Well, I was involved in something at the school board and we went to a, I was at a meeting where <laughs> I stood up and told him why I didn't want Hamilton Elementary to close. Yeah, I think I can make a difference because they, well it's like my dad said, he says that when you stand up and talk to someone about something that they want to do, 
and you say something that agrees with them or disagrees, then they'll like rethink. Anyone can have a voice in the cross. Um, there's a lot that you can do in the cross. There's a lot of people that listen and you know really want to help this community, and I really think I'm one of them. My voice will get heard because of the things that I do. It's so fun to watch Mila interact with all the middle school kids because they just loved her. Jeannie and I decided it would be really important to have her on the tour because we really want to start breaking down a lot of those barriers with people with disabilities and understanding how they work. Those messages are almost more important than, or as important as what the content is that we're teaching in the classroom. The mathematics, the science, and reading, and writing are very important things, but those values uh, of life, those are life values that are really as important to being a good person, and being a good citizen, and a contributor to your society, that those are, those things will take you far in life as well. A lot of us didn't know each other. Nope. It's been an awesome we're like, we're like family now, and our bus driver, his name, Wilson. His name is Wilson. We just want to thank you for having us here at your school today. And we'd like to um, present to you official Rise Up the Sun and certificate of participation. And we also wanted to give you a t-shirt to both of you and a thank you card. And we had so much fun. And I think you can tell yes. everyone here we have a great story or like 20 from today. So it was really fun. Lauren's mom. Yeah, it was great Thanks. having you here. <laughs> uh, it's made a huge difference. Um, first of all, the students are sixth through eighth graders, um, so they they absolutely love working with either high school or college age um, students, just because they're kind of closer in age but not yet an adult yet. So they really like having that connection with the older um, volunteers that come in. Um, but they also, I mean, it's just been great to work with volunteers in general. They come in and they do a great job with the kids. They really have enthusiasm for it. Um, a lot of them, you know, have had education backgrounds or some of them are in college. We recruit a lot um, of the volunteers from UW UWRF here. You are officially our fourth staff on the tour. Uh, we started off in Kenosha on Sunday. We're in Milwaukee on Monday. Where did we go after that? Oshkosh. We went to Oshkosh after that, and then Appleton, and spent our day yesterday at a middle school in La Crosse. I believe very strongly in student leadership and leadership in general. Leaders make a difference in schools, in communities, in our nation, and I believe our young people today, our students, need to learn about those leadership skills and the impact that they can make in their school, in their community, and in our nation. It's not only what we know in our hearts to be the right thing to do, but it is that, it's that, uh, for the lack of better terms, it's that fire in the belly that you know that not only you, but your community are better off because of the work that you do. There is, there's no greater, there's literally no greater work to be done, uh, at least in my opinion, than, than service learning.